Your style changed over the years. And what other types of builds would you like to do? Revelator L. Uh, no, is the, and no, pretty much are the, are the, are the answers to that. Um, my style has not changed really over the years. Yeah. Um, I am doing a bike for Michael Lichter's exhibition at Sturgis this year. He's yeah. doing a, a, an exhibition that's uh, sort of based, I guess, on builders that have stood the test of time and had you know over 20 years of bike building, blah, blah, blah. And as yeah. it's my 25th anniversary, um, I'm going to build a bike for that, which is going to have... Uh, I think the, it's going to have a slightly more modern palette, a little bit something slightly unexpected, but, yeah. but you know, I'm not going off to the left field on anything ever probably. Yeah. And as far as what other types of build would I like to do? Um, there's one of the joys of being in my position over the years. I've kind of been allowed to do whatever I want to do. Um, and, you know, for a time, that was all I would do. You know, you'd call up to yeah. order a bike and, you know, I'd pretty much tell you what you were getting and you like it or not. No, you can't have a different fender. Um, yeah. But I, and, you know, I'm going to lose a bunch of followers <laughs> with this, but yeah. I would like, I, I'm more intrigued. I, I sort of feel like I, I'm, I'm ready to go off in, in both directions. I would like to be able to, do something with the electric bike world, yeah. although I'm, yeah. I'm afraid that that is a difficult um, platform to, to really sort of build on because weight is so important. So all the yeah. manufacturing techniques that, you know, yeah. the Harley crew have, let's take a massive lump of metal and whittle it a little bit and weld yeah. it right on the side. No one will ever notice the extra 50 pounds. Yeah. Um, so that's difficult. Um, and also there's, so so little to it you know it's a it's a box of power you know with it runs a back wheel um but i would like to be able to to play around with that but that's an expensive arena to get into i'm gonna have to yeah. wait for the right customer to come along and say you know here you know i know you don't know what you're gonna do but here's a live wire and here's 30 yeah. grand do something cool with it yeah and, yeah and i would also like to go back in the other direction and start playing around with pan heads and what have you like everybody else does. But I, but I don't see how I can monetize that to a level that allow yeah. me to stay in business. You know what I mean? Sure. That is, sure. that's my retirement plan. When I don't have to do it for a living, then that's what I wouldn't mind doing for fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. Buying a used, whatever, an old shovel head or what have you and just <laughs> simply it and making it cool. I love the fact that there's such a resurgence of this old iron. I love the fact that there's a resurgence of so many different genres and brands, yeah. you know, none of which helps me make any money. No. Um, but it's refreshing to get out to the bike events and see some interesting bikes of all types and ages. You know, yeah. I was a big fan of the, you know, the straight fours back in the eighties, you know, um, but again, I don't really see how, you know, the sort of money that I need to make to, to keep the doors open sure. is oh. hard to, to justify. I'm not, you know, Jesse James where, you know, he's got guys who'll just chuck him 120 grand to do yeah, whatever. Yeah. And, and he does whatever he wants and he gives it them and everybody's happy. He's Jesse yeah. James. I'm not, you know what I mean? I have yeah. to, I have to deliver value for money yeah, and you know, my ground up bill bikes start at 50 grand, um, which seems like a lot of money, but, you know, at that level, you know, that's that sort of survival pricing for, yeah, for, yeah. for my company. You know what I mean? And, you know, hard to tell somebody, you know, yeah, we're going to pick up an old pan head and then we're going to spend $40,000 on it, making it look black and simple. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so that, that, yeah, that's, okay. that's, there are a lot of things I would like to do, but very few of them will fit in a financially viable business model. So those are things that I'm saving for uh, retirement, if ever such yeah. a thing comes my way. Revelator L.